This is Fishing Planet version 1.1.10. Welcome to my new play video for Emerald Lake in New York, home of the walleye. My goal for this video is to help new players plan their first trip to Emerald Lake. The target fish will be walleyes because they are easy to catch and they provide good experience and income. We'll start off with some travel expenses and then we will talk about some equipment suggestions. And after that, we'll head over to the lake and catch some fish. Okay, so the cost to travel into Emerald Lake will be $18.50 plus $500 per day. We'll also be buying an advanced New York license for $600, which will last 24 hours of real life time. We need an advanced license because we're going to be night fishing. And we'll also be able to keep the trophy walleyes without paying a penalty. If you plan on spending more than one game day fishing at Emerald Lake, you'll need at least $34.50. It's $18.50 to travel there, $500 on the first day, $600 for an advanced license, and then the game won't sell your fish that you caught on the first day until you pay for the second day extension for $500. Now that you know how much money it will cost to travel to Emerald Lake, let's find how much money you can make. At level 10, you can buy a fish shale excess for $28.80. That has a total fish weight of 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. Once you fill that up with fish and sell those fish, you'll make about 2,800, which means you'll still be in the negatives for the first day, but you'll be back in the plus column after you've sell fish on the second day. I added in uh, the level 13 and level 16 fish jails as well, so you can see how much money you would make with those. Um, you can decide for yourself what you want to buy and when, depending on how quickly you level. A couple notes before we move on to fishing gear suggestions. If uh, you have a limited playtime per session, uh, you can always uh, log out while you're still at the lake. That way you don't have to pay the 1850 transfer cost to get back to the lake when you log back in. And uh, one day advanced licenses, that's a, that lasts 24 hours of real time whether you're logged into the game or not. Now let's look at some fishing gear recommendations. For our fishing rods, I like the Value Spin 260, or 8 foot 6 inches if you do the Imperial system. I like it because it has the uh, a wide range of uh, lure weights it can use. And it's one of the longest low level rods, so it will cast the furthest. The only downside I can see for this fishing rod is the line weight is kind of low at 3.5 kilograms, or 7.5 pounds. It means a uh, the heaviest test line you can use for fishing line is uh, 2.7 kilograms or 6 pounds. If you were to use an uh, 8 pound test fishing line, it's possible that you could break the fishing rod before the fishing line breaks, which would be rather expensive. So you want to use a uh, fishing line with a test that's lower weight than what the rod can handle. That way the fishing line will break before the fishing rod and you'll save some money. It's the same for fishing reels. You want to find a reel that has a maximum drag of somewhere around slightly lower than the uh, line weight of the fishing rod. But you want to make sure that the maximum drag on the fishing reel is higher than the test weight of the fishing line. That way the fishing line will break before the fishing reel breaks. Out of these two reels, I like this one better because I like reels with a higher recovery rate. Uh, this one is 80 centimeters or 31 and a half inches. What that means is uh, when you reel it in the line, every crank of the reel will bring in 80 centimeters of line. Okay, for a fishing line, I would choose this mono 2.7 kilogram or 6 pound test fishing line. It fits in perfect with the uh, rod and reel setup we have here. Uh, I actually prefer the floral line over this mono line. But the floral line version of this will cost bait coins instead of game cash. And bait coins is a limited resource. Now that you have a rod, a reel, and some fishing line, you're going to need a fishing lure. And walleyes love this narrow spoon 7 gram fishing lure. It's uh, the color's amylite. There's another one that looks just like this, but it's black. Yeah, I would buy that one as well because they both work in different situations. And since it's 7 grams, it will fit into this fishing rod, the optimal weight, perfect. 7 grams of 21. 
I also just wanted to show you this medium spoon, the red tiger. Uh, there's another one just like it, a uh, lemon tiger, it's yellow. I use these lures for uh, other fish, and sometimes they work well with walleye during the daytime. And one last thing before we head out to the lake to go fishing, what these little green symbols mean. This uh, symbol here is for spinning reels. These are for casting reels. This is for uh, float fishing stuff and lures. So this uh, fishing rod here will work with spinning reels and lures, but it won't work with float stuff or casting reels. So these, this equipment here will work because these are spinning reels and these are lures. All right, so let's head over to uh, Emerald Lake. We'll buy the uh, our advanced license first. And then we'll travel. I like to uh, fish from the docks over here. So we'll head over there, go to a private room. And uh, we'll fast forward time to 9 p.m. So we do some night fishing. The only uh, big disadvantage for doing this is we have to wait another hour and a half before we can fast forward to 9 p.m. tomorrow. Game time. Just a side note on this uh, countdown. This will uh, count down to zero whether you're logged into the game or not. Alright, so you can pretty much cast anywhere from about this tree to about this corner over here. Uh, I like to cast into this tree here. And you want to cast about uh, 120 feet or more. Once the lure settles to the bottom, uh, there's a couple different retrieves uh, I like to do. Uh, first one is uh, leave it on set in one, speed one, and you just press the left mouse button to reel it in straight and slow, and then you can uh, hit the right mouse button every once in a while to give it a little jump. A lot of times the fish will grab it at the height of the jump. The other one that I like to do is uh, put it on set and three, and it's called stop and go. And either one you want to try, as soon as you get down to around uh, uh, 30 meters or 90 feet, you want to switch over to uh, speed one, and we'll do a lift and drop. Fishing. Okay, uh, after I catch a few fish in this direction, or maybe I'll cast and I don't catch one at all, I'll go to my second favorite spot, which is in this corner over here. So um, it's about the same distance um, 40 meters or 120 feet plus. Uh, you can do the same type of retrieves either a stop and go or a uh, slow and straight. It's not very often that uh, I'll cast out and not catch a fish at this lake, especially at night with the walleyes. And then uh, once I get down to about 30 meters or 90 feet, 
to switch over to a uh, stop and go. I mean a uh, lift and drop. It's almost like uh, you have to stop every once in a while while you, during your retrieve so the fish can catch up to your lure or something. Uh, I don't know, it's a little odd. And that's pretty much all you need to know about catching walleyes. Uh, night fishing and uh, anywhere between this tree here and this corner is usually a good place to catch them. Uh, also, I, um, I don't really pay attention to this too much. I seem to catch fish anytime during the night. Although, I guess I have noticed that I've caught bigger fish during the peaks. That's pretty much it. And the last thing I want to talk about is our real settings. Down here in the bottom right, the, my reel has eight settings. And right now I have it on set number seven. And you have to do some math to get that number. So let's take a look at my rod and reel. Right here you can see my reel. Max drag is 2.9 kilograms. And mono 0.23 is 2.7 kilograms. Here are the numbers I use to figure out what reel setting I should use so that I don't break my fishing line. Uh, my reel has eight settings and it's a maximum of 2.9 kilograms of drag. So you take uh, 2.9 kilograms and you can also, um, this works for the Imperial as well, uh, I think 2.9 kilograms is 6.4 pounds so you just replace 2.9 with 6.4. So 2.9 kilograms of drag divided by eight settings equals 0.3625 kilograms per setting. So each setting is just a multiple of 0.3625 all the way up to the maximum eight setting, 2.9 kilograms. And since the line I'm using is 2.7 kilograms, I want to use a setting that's as close as is possible, but lower. So I, yeah, I can go up to uh, setting seven. So when a fish pulls, uh, more than 2.5375 kilograms of pressure, um, the line will just let out so that uh, it doesn't break. Uh, if I had set it on 8, that means the fish can go up to 2.9 before the, it will start letting line out. But in this case, it would just break the line because the line can only handle 2.7 kilograms. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and hopefully this information will help you with your first trip to Emerald Lake. Thank you for watching.